Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one, isn't it, bub? You want to ride in it? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. We're still out here. Back at it. Old Garrett. Back at it. What up, brother? Not much, dude. How you been? Doing good. I know how you been. You've been here every day. <laughs> That's how you been. Yeah. He been, been here. And uh, we got a whole new plan gathered. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got a good rain. Yeah. We've seen that it held. Yeah. This is what, the fifth or sixth ish? Fifth or sixth day, I think. Fifth or sixth Since day. Since that big rain we had, what was it, Thursday or Friday? Something yeah. Like that. Yeah, I think so. So it told us that we have enough clay down low. Check it out. To hold water. And it's still there. So, yeah, you see what we're doing now. You see what we're doing now. You want to give them a low down? Well, I think we're gonna go a little bigger. No, we're gonna we're gonna go big. <laughs> I think we're gonna be able to take some of these trees out, and then we're gonna go back around the hill over here. And we're gonna hopefully have a big dog leg come around that backside over here. Have a big, right. big water. Right, big water. Big water. And to get big water back here, you all remember this was a ridge line. It was like a big dike. Uh, it's got to come out so this can run east to west this whole instead of it we were originally want it, wanting it to run kind of north to south lengthways well it's just not going to be big enough so we're going to go way that way and that way. probably triple the size oh, of it easily yes quadruple maybe yeah maybe even five times maybe. as big if we can dog lane it dog lane it <laughs> dog, dog leg it because i was thinking if we had to i could come down a little bit more right here mm -hmm. to be able to set it right down here see and i kind of like the way the slope is and i kind of like i kind of like leaving this grass meeting this tree and okay. then kind of burying the pit blind right in here maybe like i don't know something like this okay on this side of this tree yeah some maybe even somewhere where you can shoot you know, it, it will run parallel with the pond. Yeah. Because well, I don't want it to be looking that way too much. No, because you're going to have water over here too. Yeah. So, so that, that's where I'm kind of stuck in the middle is maybe we wait to bury it till this thing's done. Or maybe we just sink it here and, we and then make the it work. Because yeah. we can still cut the edge of the bank yeah, this way. It, no big deal. So maybe we use this as a little, like, like you were like saying, a little, a little peninsula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Just come out and then wrap her back around and over to there to them trees. Yeah, so maybe we've actually put it like out here. Yeah. So then you can really wrap around it. Yeah, we put you like out on a point. Yeah. Where your blind would be on that point or whatever. Yeah, you know, so. the spoiled man's yeah. blind. Well, if you're going to do it, we got to do it <laughs> If right. you're going to do it, you got to do it. That's right. <laughs> First of all, guys, if you guys are wanting to dig a pond and you live anywhere around me, Central Kansas area, you got to check out Garrett's Family Business. Tell them about it real quick. Uh, mom construction out of Lindsburg. We do grading, demo work, and we dig ponds for cool people. <laughs> he loves to dig ponds. This is fun. It's I one like of your favorite this. things yes. to do. So he'll be linked down in the description below, as well as the new Ducks gear. Uh huh. All the new Ducks cup camo gear. I will link down below. Use code Bob at checkout to save yourself some jack. As well as all the duck calls. All the new calls are up there. I've been getting hounded. People asking when they're available, they're all available. Go pick them up. Bub, you still wanting to ride in that big thing? Well, let's go. That was the first thing he asked. Dad, can I go back there <laughs> and get get a ride with Garrett? Yeah. You want to? You want to haul some dirt? Well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Crawl up there, bub. Fo on, follow that man. He'll give you a ride. Oh, he's been excited to do this. Garrett offered it the other day, and Bodie is not going to let him live, live it down. Hold on, Bubba. Hold on to something. Don't touch anything. He's going to love it. If there was enough room for me, I'd get up there, but. <laughs> oh, look at him in there. <laughs> My little man, he's been asking to go for a ride. That thing is so cool. It's got a front engine and a rear engine. 
shapes and articulate it's so awesome but anyways on to the pit blind so like our discussion we just had i'm going to use this tree as a guide i think i'm going to put that pit blind right here we're going to bury it today and then when we dig the edge of the pond we're going to wrap it around this way so this will all be sloped with water right here so basically when you look at the tree we're kind of be on the edge of a little overhang a little peninsula and have water kind of wrapping around us that's the plan by the end of this video <laughs> we'll see if we achieve the plan first off guys till season's firing up that'll be the next videos coming up so you guys have been waiting so have i believe me i'll be out there saturday shooting shooting the bills right off them you better believe it Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Did he like it? He was running the levers. <laughs> he was running the levers. <laughs> he dumped that load all by himself. <laughs> what do you think, man? Woohoo! What do you That's think, bud? Giant! That thing's giant. Did you operate it? Was that cool? I saw the dirt coming out of it. You did? Give me nuts. Boy, I tell you what, we done got the whole fleet here. We got help, boys. If I ever wanted help, we got enough help. That's for darn, don't you mark his tire, no, no. Every time new truck comes in, he pees on the tire. What up? What up? Here she is. The fiberglass pit blind beauty. You getting in there? Yeah, come on. Oh, actually, it's not. Look at the stairs on the floor. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Looks well, real good. Yeah. The, so there's. We have to figure out a seat situation. You can really just do anything, but there's buckets that were on the wall. Obviously, fell I think. Off well, point. even if we just use regular buckets again, buckets would be all right in there. That thing is sweet, dude. That's pretty big. It's that might that's bigger than a six man, really. One two three four five yeah five or six you're right oh be darn it even has the grass that goes on the top of it dude oh it does flip so it sets right in these little holes and oh. will flip over but i think you can just pop up through it ah uh-huh that'd be sweet well thank you to daddy guys yeah no kidding thank you mark he's just sitting there taking up space gathering dust yeah how long has it been out of commission right seven eight years seven or eight years what a beauty well we got zach my buddy from power solutions here to help dig it and set it he's been on a lot of the hunts y'all probably recognize him old p diddy we're gonna get our own little crew going we got uh garrett out back he's still digging and he's making us our pad where we can pull in we're gonna have to leave it on the trailer pull it back there slide it off into the hole so let's see if it goes as planned what do you have to say I'm just trying to figure out with the crack so there's a crack along the bottom when they dug this out there were posts driven all the way into the ground to keep it from floating because this was in a marsh uh, so I'm trying to figure out what we need to do if you don't think it'll fill up with water the water table it won't be that deep right no it's gonna okay. be up above the water table by the water line too yeah where, even when you the pump water it. the water line it'll be Hell, I'd probably six, eight foot above the water line. So, did you declare what that is? I think you were right. Just to... like another waterproof barrier that goes on there. Slides in these poles here. And then that grass goes on top of it. Yeah, you can see where water has kind of been sitting on it, too. Yeah. Mm. We're going to have to get her in the ground and start. And it has these benches. Check that out. It's got these benches. Have a bunch of storage inside of them. And then when you're not using it, this whole lid comes back over and completely seals it off from yeah. any water. I think six six will fit comfy in there. I think six will fit. And it'll be big enough to throw heaters in. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a ledge on each side. It's also got, already has the gun holders. Check that out. Mm -hmm. So it's got a ledge over here for shotgun shells, what have you, and right behind you. So the ledge, the bench will be over there. Yeah, buddy. 
Yeah, buddy. Boy, howdy. Here we go. So here's the edge of the water. We're gonna try to pull up right where we want to unload the pit blind. Old Garrett, check him out. He's got the dozer out here now, flattening everything out for us. So the plan is, we will, uh, I'm thinking we, I want it like right here. Dig it right here, put it long ways, and then see the tire track like I was saying? The bank will roll here and we'll have water on the left side of us too. So we're gonna be on the edge of a peninsula basically oh, okay. kind of i want to be close to the water and i want to be able to shoot left and right okay you know what so i'm saying are you, are you are you thinking like straight south or uh, angle a little nope. bit i would say face that evergreen okay so then you can shoot left or and right and in front yeah think yeah i think that'll work so how far that way is he going to dig this all down more uh we'll just so we'll put this pit blind like right here the slope will start like right there and it'll be a three to one grade. Okay. So the water will be right out there. Sweet. But we'll be high enough that the blind will be out of the water. Yeah. So basically this is gonna be a beach of sand and that's what it's gonna look like from the top of that pit blind, just sand. Planted, grass, whatever. Probably grass. I'll probably try to plant Bermuda out here a bunch as much as I can. Yeah. That is the plan, we're gonna get underway. Well, we're out here. We're getting after it. Check it out. It is busy. We're having a we're having a great day out here. Isn't this just fun? Dude, it's just a little kid's playground out here. Yeah. Actually, a big kid's playground. I'm yeah, having fun. Yeah, exactly. So we got the hole almost finished. With little Bodie Allen, my boy, he's in there. Oh, bub. Girl it. There you go. <laughs> so check it out. Here's the hole. Boom. So that's the stairs. See the stairs on the end? The layer in here. Offering a nice beach where you can put full bodies. Yeah, yeah. Put some floaters out there. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe that this is actually happening. First of all, it's so awesome. Um, we have a good fly line of geese that go over here. I don't expect to really shoot a bunch of ducks, but geese, maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep, you're good. I'll tell you when. All right. So we got her lifted up. This is the hard part, getting it off of the trailer and getting it into the hole. You're good. Right there. <laughs> we good, boys. We good. Yep. We're, we'll be all right. Let him let off of it. No, Hold on, maybe. Keep going a little bit. That's too much. It's going to want to sink that. Are you trying to pull it all the way off? Nope. Keep going a little bit. I don't know if it was going to fall off. Was it? Yeah, you're good. I'm calling good then. Right there. Yep, right there. That's perfect. So now we got it halfway off the trailer. We're gonna back, back up to the hole so it's hanging off. It's like right at that. I know. That bottom bar is <laughs> off. It's not easy. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> That's what we got going yeah, we, on. We, Look, we got, it now. we got our teeter, literally teeter tottering over the hole. So now we're gonna hook up to it. Hopefully drag it off nice and simple. Put her down in the hole easy. Pull the truck out. Uh, I wish we had a big enough excavator, excavator, which we would tomorrow. Garrett, he was like, hey, the big excavator will be here tomorrow. I'm like, well, we kind of want to do it a little redneck style. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! Woo! That was about perfect. Not going to lie. See if you can curl her up and drag her in there. I'll watch the back. A little more. Keep going. Keep going. Hey! <laughs> yeah, baby! 
Oh, look at that. Do your thing, brother. Drag her in there. Yeah. Uh, we should be good. <laughs> go ahead, give her a go. Go, go. I drag her up, pull her up a bit. Yeah, the corner was gonna go. Now it's on that. So, wait. Look, let's look at right it now. Let That's it down perfect, just a tad. Right True. Preston said the fact that it's level, and Zach goes, "Yeah, I dug it level." There we go. So, this is the idea. Here in just a little bit, we're gonna crawl in it. Once we got her buried over, we're gonna bury her all the way over so you can barely see it. Take the top off and give you the real experience, huh? Huh? Okay. Jibbity dibbity woof. We have been working our bunions right off. Check it out. Uh, so now we're burying her back. About got her buried. We're just gonna have to smooth a lot of this out. Like I said, we already kind of got a slope going here. The edge of the water is just gonna be right out there. It's gonna curl around this bad boy. And I'm gonna take you down in her. Check it out. We got steps. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, you're like, check it out. Take a seat, Bob. So we, uh, we didn't look. We actually, it, there's not really a front or back side, but they had the hooks on this side. So kind of, we technically put it in backwards, but. Yeah. But you, you there's, just, yeah, we're gonna put, we're gonna put new shotgun holders in front of us. So it's got a ledge back here for whatever you might want to put. And then up here, it's got a ledge as well. So if I had to compare these to like a lot of this style pit lines we've been in, look, there's so much leg room. It's big. Or so we're gonna be able to put heaters. Stand up like you're shooting. Look at that, perfect. Right eyes. through the grass. So the, yeah, then these things just flip Pull over. Pull out of the way. Yeah. It's sweet. Well, that won't be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, we have done so much work in a little bit of time. Yeah. I wanna thank you. Thank you for having the idea of bringing this bad boy here, P. Diddy. I've been wanting somewhere to put it. You've finally. been telling me. Finally, Bob had a place to put it. Pulled the trigger somewhere. Yeah. Big shout out to Garrett, Zach. This thing's sweet, man. W once this is like planed out right, dude, it's like, I mean, you yeah. can't see right now, but because there's a wall of sand yeah. right at the water. Come that time, you won't be sweating anymore like you are right I now. I know. Well, well, we might be with the heaters in here. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to come back of some sorts with the heaters in here. You know, with them sausage and hey. bacons up in here. Well, yeah, that too. Oh my God. You leave the room for a great yeah. old Traeger down here. We'll just here. put Bert right in the middle of everybody. I know. And he can cook. Mm. I'm excited. Yeah, this will be cool. This so, will, uh, go ahead. One thing I wanted to ask, if anybody knows what brand this is, because we have no idea. We dug it up on a piece of property that my dad bought. Yeah, it doesn't have any labels in No anywhere. labels, didn't see anything. Mainly, see if there's any like accessories, like whatever we can do to make it nicer. But also this grass, I know this is pretty generic stuff, but if you know what brand grass this is, comment it because we only have two more pieces and we need four and whoever put them on here didn't put them on right. Right. So, we so even if you know a better grass yeah. to buy, comment and give us a website. Yeah. We'll go buy it because we just want to put all new grass on this bad boy. Mm -hmm. It'd be pretty cool though. Um, the lid, that's a lid. It literally slides in on these tracks and then the grass goes over the top. So if anybody steps on it, it won't cave in. Oh, and, oh here, this little. Oh yeah, check it out. Bonus. So we're going to re-anchor these down, but. Bonus storage area. I don't know what we. Put gun cases little, little propane heaters in there yep. just leave them in here never have to drag them out mojos in case we got ducks we can throw them out yeah you know so much just get out of the way crap <laughs> uh, Beep. get stuff out of the way nice. <laughs> uh, well next day here and i have been getting decoys ready uh two days two days boys and gals it will be till opening day so I can tell you the next video will go up Sunday and by goodness, it's going to be a till hunt. I don't care if we shoot one or we limit out, you're going to have a video Sunday of the first duck hunt of the season. 
The beginning of the season every single year is uh, really one of my favorite times because uh, the summers are long, especially for old Bob, you know. Uh, the summers are long. Trying to do magnet fishing and pigeon trapping and all these filler videos, trying to get through the heat of summer and back into season when it's finally here. I cannot tell you how good it feels. But next day, like I say, and uh, I'm gonna show you the pit blind. We got her nice and smoothed out. Looks awesome. Garrett is back once again uh, on his dirt moving skills. Just going after it back here, I'm telling you. Oh, better get out of his way. Get out of the way, Bob. The man's coming through. All right, oh, he got down in there with the dozer. Okay, okay, I see what he's doing. Big shout out to Garrett and uh, Mom Construction. Uh, I will link them down below. If you guys are interested in building a pond, get a hold of them. Uh, if you're interested in adding to your property, if you have deer hunting property, uh, get a hold of him. He can build you a pond, no matter what size you need. All my Bucks fans, speaking of deer hunting, if you haven't checked out buckshunting.com, you need to. It is the ducks version of deer hunting, and I'm loving it. Y'all are loving it. Tag me on Instagram, you guys. No matter if you buy ducks or bucks gear, tag me. When you buy something, uh, screenshot your little checkout deal, I'll repost it. Or tag me wearing bucks. I'll repost you on the old story. But here she is. Here we are. She's buried. Um, all done here. We're, we'll eventually smooth it out around there. We've got the lid on right now. It uh, it keeps it watertight. It's gonna be really nice. We're gonna vacuum it out. We're gonna buy all new grass for the top of this. But check it out, this is what he did with the dozer this morning. This will be the bank going down. And it'll be a peninsula going around this whole deal. So we'll really be on top of the hill and be able to shoot down at the water. It'll be really cool. And what's nice is when birds decoy really good, they're gonna swoop down in here. So we'll be shooting at that other bank. Don't have to worry about any shot going anywhere, which we are plenty far away from anything, but just add another safety measure. It'll be awesome. This is one heck of a grade. It's gonna be a three to one grade, uh, but we're underway. He's got a lot to do out here, a lot. We're still holding good water dammed it up now that's neat check it out he really took the dozer and dammed that up so this is going to be water all in front of the pit blind big shout out to p diddy if y'all have not followed p diddy give him a follow on instagram he deserves it he's my right hand man him and old g-wagon but a uh, big shout out to p diddy and his dad mark for allowing me to put it out here. They are like, hey, it needs to be used. Bob, put it out there. Thank you, boys. But I'm not gonna prolong this video uh, any longer. Uh, the next hunt, first duck hunt of the year, like I said, guys, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you wanna pick up some Bucks gear, I will link Bucks down in the description below, as well as Ducks at Ducks Waterfowl. Use code Bob to save yourself some money at checkout. And I think at Bucks, I think it is code Bobby. So save yourself some money, share them codes with your family and friends. But I got a bunch to do, like edit this video and get all of the hunting stuff ready. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, always be safe out there. Always uh, be conscious of your surroundings, uh, conscious of your buddies. Help each other out. Let's make uh, the whole hunting industry a little bit more I don't know. Nice, I guess. Be nice to your uh, to your fellow hunters, man. Have some respect out in the marsh, public lands. Give people their space, okay? Here in a few days, people are going to be complaining everywhere. Oh, we got blasted with shot and blah blah blah. These people set 50 yards up away from us. Come on, you got to leave like 200 yards, man. You got to be respectful out there, but. Until next time.